Hello and welcome to a new vlog. Welcome to the weekend. It's Saturday. Saturday just a little bit afternoon. It's like 12.30. Definitely slept in and I have no regrets about that. Desperately needed it after a very long week. If you can hear noise in the background, that would be my washing machine. I'm finally doing some laundry. I have been desperately, <laughs> desperately needing to do laundry all week and I've reached that point where like I will have nothing to wear on Monday if I don't do laundry. I also need to make sure my cactus. I water this thing, my little cactus plant. It still just feels really wet. Like it doesn't feel dry. I'll probably water it tomorrow because I can't like, I can't remember the last time I watered it. It's been most of the week. I'm gonna have to water it at some point. At one point there had been water that I could see like in the bottom of the jar that I've put it in because I've put some pebbles down there to lift the pot, the plastic pot up a bit. If I can keep this alive, at some point I will repot it. But for now, I've just stuck the plastic pot it came in into an old candle jar with a few marbles, glass marbles at the bottom for like keeping it up a bit. So when I first watered it, I could see that water had drained out of the pot, but that's gone. Still seems pretty, like the, the dirt isn't dry. So maybe give it another couple days and then see if it needs to be watered then. It still looks cute. It's still flowering, which is nice. It really still looks pretty much exactly the same as when I bought it, which I'm impressed with considering it doesn't get a ton of light sitting here on my desk. I leave this window cracked open before I go to sleep at night. So it gets a little bit of full sun early in the morning and then it gets this kind of shaded natural light throughout the rest of the day. So far it's okay. So we'll see how long that lasts. <laughs> Once the weather is nice for this winter, if I can keep this alive and prove that I can look after plants, I think when I open these windows up and take the sunblocker shades out, I might just like start a little like windowsill garden. <laughs> I'll have to figure something out for it by next summer when I have to close everything up again. I could probably manage a small, like small herb garden in like a windowsill pot and keep it in the laundry room. And that might be something I do next spring, next summer, when I need to start blocking this window up again. Just keep all the plants in the laundry room because I can leave the laundry room window blinds open and then the laundry room does get some good sunlight. It's a small window, but it gets a lot of direct sunlight in the morning and then a nice amount of indirect sunlight throughout the day, even more so if it's like in the windowsill. I might make my, my laundry room a little bit of a garden room next spring if I can actually keep this going. So we'll see how it goes over the winter. But it would be nice to grow like some peppermint because I love, 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 love fresh mint tea. So if I could grow some peppermint, that would be really nice. And I, I do like having plants. This little one has just made me so happy having it here on my desk. I love flowers. I will always love flowers and I, I worry that flowers might be a little hard for me to grow because I'm really not that good but I think another maybe get another calico plant because I think they had some with different color flowers so getting another one or two of these maybe in different sizes they had another one that was I think nine or ten dollars so like double the price of this one but it was twice the size and I didn't want to buy that even though it was bigger and prettier, I didn't want to spend that much money if I was just gonna kill it in a few days. So so we'll see. This one's starting to give me hope that maybe I could have some plants. And they, they, there are so many benefits to having plants. And I like having them, I think having a little windowsill garden here would be nice because I do like having them here at my desk while I work. I feel like it just does keep me happier, <laughs> if that makes any sense at all. But yeah, so it's Saturday. That's your long rambly introduction to this vlog, talking about my plant. It's 1240 at the moment. It is only 100 degrees right now outside. That's impressive considering it was 100, it was like 99 degrees at 855 yesterday. It's only supposed to get up to 106 today. Today is just gonna be reading and writing and relaxing. Lots and lots and lots of relaxing. <laughs> 
So welcome to the vlog and I hope you enjoy. I'm getting a later start on writing than I intended. It's just about six o'clock, it's 5.59. I'll be having dinner late again today, and that's fine. Did not get as much reading done as I had initially wanted to. The time trial of the Tour de France was actually really good. So I was watching that a little bit more than I thought I was going to, <laughs> and it was a lot longer than I thought. I thought it was the team time trial, but it was individual, so that took longer, but it was really good. I'm looking forward to tomorrow, but basically the the winners, everything's already been decided. Tomorrow's just more of a formality of riding into Paris, but the scenery, oh my gosh. Today they were finishing in this medieval village that was like up on and like in the side of this hill. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, like I want to visit, yeah, Roque. Rocamador? Rocamador, I think that's how it's pronounced. I wanna go visit there now because it just looks amazing. <laughs> so yeah, had a good time watching that and now I'm going to write. I'm gonna try to stick to just an hour and just a thousand words because I don't need to do any more than that. I'm gonna try to finish chapter 13. If you watched the end of the last vlog, you'll see you'll have seen that I was trying to finish chapter 13 yesterday, didn't get there. It's definitely turning out to be a little bit longer than I thought it would be. I'm trying not to stress about that now. I've already kind of got a plan and a note in the notes section of Scrivener for chapter one on how I wanna proceed with editing once I finish drafting it. I think this is gonna be a book where I have to get out my sticky notes and put every scene on a different sticky note and put them up in order along with their word counts and start to decide how I want to rearrange and restructure the book. I, I think there's, looking back through it, there's definitely things in the first like five chapters of the book that need to happen faster than they do and there's some scenes that I think I can just get rid of, bump some other things, scenes up sooner and I think that might help with some of this, some of the problems I'm having. But I'm not gonna think about that for now. For now, I'm just going to try to finish. Well, actually, I don't think I'm gonna finish chapter 13 if I'm sticking to a thousand words. I'm gonna try to write only until seven, 7.30 at the absolute latest. At seven, I think at seven, I'm gonna have to put dinner in the oven. I think I'm gonna do a frozen pizza tonight it has to go into the oven at like seven o'clock and then once it's done that will make me have to stop and I will figure something to watch on TV. I've made myself a glass of prickly pear lemonade. I've got my music all queued up. I've got a candle going. I'm good to go. So I'm gonna start writing. disappointed when I'm done writing this book. I mean, I am already kind of looking forward to editing it, but like, I'm just loving writing it so far and I worry that editing it isn't going to be as much fun. I also just feel like I'm really not ready to publish it. <laughs> like, 
which that's still a long ways away, but it's just like, I don't want this book to be over. I have done well over a thousand words. I have done 1867. So I've been writing for an hour and 41 minutes. My pizza is done, by the way. It's in the oven. I've turned the oven off and cracked the door, so it's staying warm, but I have finished. I've got to update all of my trackers. Um, it's been really fun filling in this uh, workbook from Sarah Cannon. I've been really, really enjoying it. Seeing how close we're getting to the end of the month, but then also watching all the trackers kind of fill up. So I am at 41,168 words for the month. I am very excited and happy about that. I've made a couple notes for where to pick up tomorrow. I'm still on chapter 13, but I also really love the scene that I wrote. I feel like some of these are just gonna end up getting put in slightly different orders. Some of these scenes, I know I'm not gonna cut them out, but I do think some of them need to come a little bit sooner. So I need to look back at some of the earlier scenes when I was first starting to write and decide like which ones really are important because I feel like some of these scenes that have come later are super important to the development of the characters and the plot but they probably shouldn't be happening 81,000 words in. <laughs> so I am currently at 81,889 words total in the manuscript. So yeah, it's a lot. Editing is gonna be a whole different thing. I'm not gonna think about that now. Right now, I'm gonna go get my pizza and I'm gonna go sit down and put something on TV. I don't know what. But yeah, I'm just gonna have a relaxing evening here at home do some more reading in the switch. I am loving that book. I do have to say that. Loving it. It's just, it's so good. It's so good. So I'm looking forward to doing some more reading in that tonight and then also some more reading in it tomorrow. So I will update you then. But I am closing up the laptop and stepping away from the desk. <laughs> Sunday and if you can tell by the smile on my face it is a beautiful Sunday which means despite how much light it looks like there is on my face right now uh, it's cloudy <laughs> it is I don't know if you'll be able to see it is a very cloudy day. It did rain at some point last night or early morning because I have my little pond outside my office window down there. So it will be gone soon, I'm sure. But for now, I can pretend I live next to a water feature. Yeah, it is so cloudy. I almost went out for a walk because it's only 88 degrees, <laughs> but it's 52% humidity. <laughs> Stepped out on my balcony. And yes, I'm wearing a sweatshirt, but I could tell even if I changed into a t-shirt, just the air on my face, it's humid out. So I'm not gonna go for a walk. It's supposed to still be like this over the next, like, I honestly guys, I don't know what's happening. This is the current 10 day forecast. There is not a single day over 102, like, it's still July. This is all still July, these temperatures. The longest, the farthest away is next Tuesday. That's the beginning of August. So this goes up through, I think, the first of August. Like, I really don't know. And like, cloudy, like, partly cloudy. Now, 
all of this is going to change, I'm sure. Like that 40% thunderstorm for next for next Tuesday, that's going to change. Because they were saying tomorrow, Monday and Tuesday was going to be thunderstorms and that's gone away. And honestly, I'm enjoying this while it lasts because these clouds could burn off by this afternoon and then suddenly the rest of the 10 day forecast is bright sunny and... <laughs> <laughs> the temperatures go back up so I'm not holding my breath but I'm just wondering if there is some kind of weird just weather system that's moved in for the next several days the difficulty with those and with the forecast is sometimes a weather system will move in and they'll forecast like the next 10 days as if that weather system stays and then within two days it's like Peace y'all, I'm out. And the temperatures go back up. I mean, it's th to have these low temperatures in July, early August, it, it, it's because of the monsoon. So they are going to bring with them a lot of humidity. Just for reference, because I'm sh like 52% humidity, that's nothing if you live in like Miami. Even when we lived in Kansas, I feel like we frequently had like 80% range, you know for humidity on a on a regular basis. So 52% is nothing for a lot of you, I'm sure. But for us, we typically, during the driest parts of the summer, can be like around 10% or even lower. Like I know I've seen like 8% humidity in the past. So we are usually extremely dry. So 52% humidity is like soup for us. It was, it was feeling very, very humid when I stepped out onto my balcony. But as you've probably noticed, I've got, I did leave, my sun blockers are still here in the window, but I've pushed them to the other half so that I can open up this half. I've opened up the window in front of me. I've opened up, um, or the blinds. I've opened up the blinds to my balcony. So I actually have like natural light in my apartment today. <laughs> makes me so happy. <laughs> I love a cloudy day. Makes me very happy <laughs> because I can just have all the windows, all the blinds open like this and I can feel like I'm not living in a cave. I mean, I've definitely been, you know, I will admit, this summer has been a little bit better. I've just been embracing the cave. Instead of pretending, instead of thinking of it as being in a cave, I've been imagining that I'm just in a cozy cabin. And so I have been just blocking out the lights. So I don't think, I made these sun blockers two summers ago and I don't think I used them last summer. Last summer I was just really resisting blocking out the sunlight and then I was getting headaches and it just still wasn't that great. This summer I've just been embracing blocking out the light. It's been, I think it's a huge part of why I've been doing so well with the writing because it's been making it feel more like I'm writing at night by making this, at least this part of my apartment as dark as possible and just having my candles and the fairy lights and just pretending that it is nighttime. So this summer I've definitely been embracing the darkness <laughs> and just imagining that I'm hibernating for the summer in a cozy cabin somewhere. So I'm in a very good mood today. I also slept just enough last night. So I wish I'd slept more, but I slept enough, so I'm gonna take it. But I am moving very slowly this morning. It's nearly noon. It's not quite noon. I am moving before noon, but it's nearly noon. So I'm gonna get some breakfast. I feel like I can still call it breakfast if it's technically before noon. I don't think I'm in brunch territory yet. I've got 11 more minutes. I'm gonna put on the final stage of the Tour de France that is ending today. I'm also still reading The Switch. I am more than halfway through. I did stay up a little bit late reading it, but it's really good. And yeah, I'm just gonna get on with my Sunday and just enjoy enjoy this beautiful weather. It's just making me so happy.
well, we all knew it was too good to last. <laughs> I'm back in my cozy little cabin environment. The blinds are closed. The sun, the sun came out. I, I left the blinds open for a little while, but now that I'm going to be sitting at my desk and working, it is just more comfortable and less headache inducing if I close them. So I'm gonna do my writing for today. I've got Scrivener open, I've got Epidemic Sound open with what has basically become my soundtrack score for this project. I'm gonna put my headphones on, block out the air conditioning noise, and get some more words written. We'll see how much I do. It is 5.30, so I really don't want to write for more than an hour and a half. I have to stop at seven again, just because I have to start winding down for the night. I've not done any reading in the switch today like I wanted to. I need to make sure that I don't stay up too late reading that tonight. I need to just accept and tell myself I'm not gonna finish the book tonight, even though I did read almost half of the book yesterday alone. So I probably could finish the book tonight, but I can't, I can't do that. I will finish it probably in the next vlog and talk to you about it then, but I am really, really loving it and enjoying it so far. It's just so cute. Yeah, I do need to let myself wind down no late, starting no later than seven because I've got an early appointment. Well, I've got to kind of get up early to get ready for the appointment and then it's a long drive tomorrow. So like I can't sleep in tomorrow. I've got to be up and like out the door. So I'm gonna try to stop writing at seven, if not a little bit sooner so that I can have dinner and watch YouTube and do my usual Sunday evening routine. So let's see how much I can write in the next hour-ish, hour and 30 minutes. <laughs> I can't be trusted to stick to my writing like a lot of times. It's 740, so much for stopping at sevens, and I have done 3,390 words today. Um, that's the most I've done in a single sitting. I did some long sessions. I did 2,800 on the 15th, and I did just over 3,000 on the 11th. It's still lower than my highest count for camp, which was 4,460. That was way back on the 6th. I'm still hoping I can have another, like, 4,000-ish word day before camp is done. I mean, I'm running out of time, but I'm hoping sometime next week I can have another, like, big push. And I think possibly on the last day, on the 31st, which is a Sunday, next Sunday. I might just spend next Saturday and Sunday just writing as much as possible that weekend. I might just have like a writing, a writing weekend and see if I can do like 10K across the two days. That would be cool. But yeah, I've done, done a lot. I'm probably about halfway through chapter 14 and I've restructured 14 a little bit. Chapter 14 is currently at 3,983 words, so I don't think I can keep this chapter under 5,000 words, but I am hoping I can keep it under 6,000. That would be ideal. I'm now at 85,279 words total for the manuscript. I'm feeling really happy. And between yesterday and today, I've done 5,257 words just this weekend. And these were two days that according to Scrivener, I was not supposed to be writing. So that's over 5,000 words extra outside of what Scrivener was calculating. So I'm really curious to see what my word count becomes, what it resets to tomorrow, because that's a lot of writing when I wasn't technically, according to Scrivener, supposed to be writing. Because even though it's Camp Nano and so I'm writing every day, I'm still telling Scrivener that I'm only writing Monday through Friday. So as far as how it's calculating my daily word goal, it's, it's coming down. It's coming down a lot, which is making me 
hopeful that I can still finish this book by the end of September, even after the semester start. And also even if it does end up being longer than 120,000, we'll see, there's still a lot of ground to cover. I am feeling like it's probably gonna be closer to 130 words now. But I don't wanna adjust my word counts in Scrivener just yet, because maybe. I can be more concise. I really liked the scenes that I wrote today. Finishing up chapter 13 was easy because there really wasn't a whole lot left. And I, I'm really, ha like I'm excited. I'm excited for where it's at. So I'm looking forward to picking up the rest of chapter 14 tomorrow. Um, I do have a busy day tomorrow, more busy morning, so the afternoon should be fine. But tomorrow I do also really have to focus on editing, so that is my priority for tomorrow. But as of now, it is just past quarter to eight. I need to go make something for dinner. Probably just gonna have something small because I don't want to eat too much this late. I'm gonna go watch some YouTube. There's lots of Chateau videos and a new Svalbard vlog and some other videos from my favorite YouTubers. So I'm gonna go watch that. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. If you have, give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Subscribe if you're not subscribed, that would be amazing. In the comments, I don't have a question. Just leave a running emoji because I honestly feel like I am sprinting through these writing sessions. I'm not technically doing writing sprints, but I feel like I am. So leave me some running emojis to symbolize how I feel as I'm writing. <laughs> yeah, I will see you all very soon in the next vlog. Thank you very much for watching this one. Bye.